Hello and welcome again to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going uh, to continue with our Photoshop series. Today, we are going to see how to make uh, a circular text or to write a text around a circle, and we will extend this to rotate it. So, as usual, we will start with our 1000 by 1000 layout. Okay, and then view. We will add our guidelines two by two just to center uh, our work on the screen. Today we will add not circular shape, we will add an ellipse path. So we will select the ellipse tool from here and then we come to here and we select path. Okay, and it applies the same. So we go like this, we make shift to make it perfectly circular, and then we release the mouse stroke and then the shift okay as you can see it's uh, having uh, no color it's having the, this blue color is the default you can change it and it's having uh, no filling that's the properties and it's coming from the center with the width and the height okay then to write text on this path I need to select the text tool I make sure it is the horizontal text type tool and then I come to here when I come to here you will find that the the text, uh, if I am here, it's the text and surrounded by a circle. If I come to here, you will find the text uh, with a pass mark. So it's, this will be writing on your path. So if you click it outside here, it will be writing in a straight line. If you click it in here, it will be writing inside the circle. Uh, for example, if I put it like here, okay, it will be writing inside uh, your circle or making the frame inside your circle. Okay. I will go to layers and I will take out this layer because we don't need it. Okay, we need to, okay. then we do again our circular pass in the center, shift, so we need the mouse and the shift. Okay, and then we enter again with the test and we come to here. See that it's writing on the path. Okay, now it's giving you just a random text to see you how it will come out. So we'll write the name of our channel one of the simple ways okay so it's written in, in, in uh, it's coming more than half uh, of the circle maybe you need to decrease it so I'll mark it shift home you will mark the text and then you will go to the text uh, properties uh, you will come to this a which is shift this mark which is shifting it uh, up and down or, or over or below the path so I'll make it zero to make it on top of the pass now it's coming on top of the pass okay you can increase it above the pass if you are drawing around the circle so you, you would be able to adjust it above the line of the circle on the line below the line it, it's up to you so that's one of the, of the tricks another thing if i push shift well i'm, I'm and alt and then the uh, left arrow you will see that the text will be contracting so i can stop it directly exactly on, on half the circle or i can Contracted more based on the shape that I like on, on, uh, on this circular drawing. Okay, so that's now we have written on the circular pass. If I come here, you can see now it is written on a perfectly circular pass. Uh, now, if I need, uh, I can make some circle to just show you how it is fitting perfectly. So, from here, shape. Okay, I come again from the center and I come here, for example. Okay, shift to make it perfectly circular. Okay, then use the mouse and the shift. Okay, then you can see it written around uh, a circle. If you needed to write it between two circles, for example, as uh, we were doing, uh, maybe you need to make it like a, on, on a stamp or something like that, you can add another circle uh, on top of it. Like this one, shift and we extend it. Then. Okay, and then. This ellipse is doing it under the text, so it's coming like this. Or you can make give it some stamp effect or something like that if, if you like to make it like uh, a stamp and give it a background and and so. Okay, that's uh, one of the things we would like to to show you now. If I turn back to my to my text and it's written in this post, that's very important to mark. If you see this small black dot here, this means that uh, you cannot select the text again. It's uh, it's logged. So if you come to text, 
you'll not be able to select it again the text itself you keep writing if you stop here again on the pass and so on you don't find the pass mark if you stop here you don't find the pass mark you need to make the se direct selection tool and you click on this black dot then your text uh, on the pass is open to you again you come here and then you can you find that you you have uh, selected your text uh, again okay so suppose that now i need to, to, to write uh, on the opposite direction of the uh, of the circuit okay so simply we can make it in an easy way i can take a copy of this layer i can duplicate this layer okay i say it reverse and okay and on this reverse layer i'll come and select from here the pass selection tool okay and i'll shift my text I've, you see that these two arrows mean that i'll be able to move the text now so i'll shift my text to the lower half of the circle okay and then i mark it inside now you see it is written in the right direction okay now if i need to make it on the same exactly circle so i i move inside it's coming to the same direction so i come to the text properties and from here if i select down you can see it is moving under the circle Okay, so we can continue. Okay, you can see now they are written as two halves of the same circle, and you can then edit the text in this layer. You come here, you see the black dot again, so we can using the direct selection tool. So I come here, I open it. Okay, and I stop and reverse one of the simple ways, and then I print the text here. Okay, and then I can change my text. Okay, number of simple ways. And shift home, and then I can contract it as we all know. As we said again, shift alt, shift alt, and then I make the left arrow it's contracting. Okay, and then I can click outside anywhere. So we can see how it stems or our brand or our logo is coming. That's our part one of the uh, of the work. So now suppose that I need. To, to make one of these uh, text uh, rotating on a perfect spot. So I will come to this one again. To this text again. Okay. I'll select it. Okay. Shift end. And I will make it completely inside the pass. So to this one, I'll select here, for example, 50. Okay. Uh, it's coming to I need to make it on top so it can be appearing now it's coming exactly in the sign now I need to make the, this text rotating okay to make this text rotating now it is totally inside the circular pass okay now I will come to window add my timeline okay create video timeline for the reverse I will mark this one as the first point of my transform okay and then i will shift 15 frames and then control t now you see that because it is inside the circular pass you'll find it's a complete per inside the perfect square i will shift it 90 degrees and then i will mark this i mean as my next point okay then i shift 
the timeline again. Okay, and then I make control T again once more, and I shift it another 90 degrees. Okay, and I mark this step again and shift my timeline forward by 15 frame. Control T, shift it 90 degrees more. Okay, and then mark this position and shift my frame. Okay, that will be this will be the last one. Control T. Okay, and then 90 degrees once more. We had it turned, and then I select. Okay, now I come to uh, my videos. I need to frame it to, to this position. My video. Okay, we, you remember that you need to trim all the videos are in your timeline to the same position so you can make your GIF perfect. Okay, make sure you have selected all the timelines you are having and shorten them to the same position. Okay, now if we press play. You will see one of the simple ways, number of simple ways, it's rotating perfectly inside the perfect circle. So, why we don't rotate it, uh, rotate it while it is up of the circular path? Because it will not be rotating in a perfect circle. The, the, the square, uh, in which, uh, will be rotated, it will be deformed because some part of the text is above the circle and from the other side of the circle, there is no text. Um, okay. And then I can stop. And after that, I can file. Then export, save rip as legacy. Okay, we can scale it to fifty percent. So, okay, and then we save. We we'll call it new one. Then we can go to it and see how it is. And here it is. It's the new one. You can see it. It's saved as a perfect GIF and rotating. You can share it on any of your social media. You can change the time span to make it slower, to make it uh, faster. It depends on you. But just remember that you need to rotate the text which is inside the circular path. Thank you very much for following so far. I hope to see you in another coming videos with a lot of tips and tricks that will help you 